Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Byron, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing leptin resistance and infertility. So the link between leptin resistance and problems with conceiving and infertility. So leptin is actually something that controls our egg selection, as well as the maturation and the implantation of the egg onto the uterine wall. So we do have leptin receptors in the uterus, and this determines how well the embryo actually implants onto the uterine wall. Unfortunately, because of our modern life with blue light toxicity and a lot of artificial light, which we're exposed to, is the problem that this is also related to leptin resistance. So this is something that I've discussed in my other causes of leptin resistance, so make sure that you check that out. In terms of artificial light exposure and some of the things that you can do to decrease your, your risk and your exposure, as well as EMF, so non-native EMF, so this is the electromagnetic frequencies or radiation from our cell phones, from it, basically anything that's plugged into the wall, as well as Wi-Fi routers. This is radiation that we can't see or necessarily perceive, but it is definitely linked to leptin resistance. And this can then increase our cortisol levels, causes overall inflammation in our body. And this is related to something called pregnenolone steel. So this is when there's the improper usage of pregnenolone to an it will always go towards cortisol. This is something that I share in another video, so you can check it out all on pregnant alone steel. But that preferential making of cortisol, and which is our stress hormone, which then further depletes our male and female sex steroid hormones. So progesterone being an, uh, one of the, the main ones, our estrogen levels as well, and testosterone for the men. So you can see how this is related. Again, going back to that leptin resistance, it's related to those low hormones and the inability, if even if you do get pregnant, to be able to sustain the pregnancy, which we know that we need progesterone for. And if we've got the pregnenolone steel thing happening, then unfortunately our progesterone will be depleted and maybe you won't be able to sustain in that pregnancy. So really important that we fix the root cause of this, fix our environments. Check out my entire video all about the tips how to fix the leptin resistance and that will go a long way for helping your fertility as well. So there you have it. Today I talked about leptin resistance and infertility. Hopefully you learned something new. It's something that you haven't heard before and really do your due diligence. I've got a ton of videos now all about leptin resistance and some practical you know, tips that you can use in your everyday life to get healthier and to fix that resistance. So I hope that, you know, you're going to put something in the comments below if you've got questions or comments or an idea for a future show. I would love to hear from you as well as please share this video with your friends. Give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And if you're new into my channel, welcome in. Make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell and click all notifications so you get my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.